Hello my dear friends, this is Dipesh here and today let me show you how to do something interesting with TensorFlow. Today I will do a very simple example and show you how to run TensorFlow inside a website. So for this I will use Django and I will try to run TensorFlow within Django. So let's see. I have a project called Tensor Project in which I created using Django and inside the Tensor Project you can see that there will be a file called manage.py and there will be a folder called Tensor Project which is the name of the project. If I go inside I will see that there will be a couple of files. I will show you what I did with my views file. Here I have put the simple TensorFlow program. This TensorFlow program will actually take two numbers as input. These numbers will be provided on the browser by an user and these will be input to the program via the HTTP request and then they will be input to a function called add. In the add function I will do a tensorflow add of both these numbers and then I will display the sum of these numbers. I will do another one thing. I will also show you how to access the log. For accessing the log we have to use TensorBoard. TensorBoard can be installed by using uh, PIP. So using, you can use sudo pip install TensorBoard and it will ins install TensorBoard. TensorBoard helps us to visualize the graph and many other features. Today I will show you how to visualize the graph. So in order to do so we have to mention the path of, of the log. So I mentioned something like this. This is the path where I will keep my log and here you see inside the TensorFlow session I have mentioned this summary writer tf.summary.filewriter and inside this I have put up some values which is, which has the log path and it defines what I want to show in the tensorboard and then I am running the function within the session and using the feed dictionary to send the data to the function and finally after the session is complete it will send the HTTP response in the HTTP response there are supposed to be three numbers the input and the output so let's see in order to do so we have to change the URLs as well in the URLs file I have set a new pattern which accepts two numeric variables they are separated by a slash dollar indicates end of the variable and this is the name of the class which will be called once the browser sends the data to the backend. So let's see. I am trying to run the server. 
okay so the server is running let me open another terminal and try to start tensorboard in this we have to mention the name of the log directory this name is same as what I mentioned inside the program okay so there there seems to be some warnings but otherwise I think it is running on port 6006 let's see okay so this is the tensorboard browser now let's go to the browser of Django we know that the Django is also running at it is running over here but we are supposed to send two numbers as input and you see that the tensorflow is actually doing the sum and giving us the output we can give more okay so it is doing the sum and sending back to us if you see in the background you will see that tensorflow is actually running you can see that these are the messages that are coming from the tensorflow also you will see that the tensor board is showing some interesting features for example I wanted to show the graph and this is what is showing over here the graph shows two placeholders which are being added by by the add function so this is the smallest graph that I could think of and uh, this demonstrates how the tensor board works and how it can be linked from inside a tensor flow program so that is the end of this video I hope you like the video please like subscribe and stay for more videos to come I'm planning to make more videos shortly so hope to see you again in the next video bye bye